You are still on solving quadratic equations using the factorization method. On the screen, we have another equation x squared minus 14x plus 24 equal to 0. x squared minus 14x plus 24 equal to 0. I'm still making use of 24. The use of 24 is just deliberate. After some time, I will change and let's use some other numbers. Again, we are using what? The factorization method. First thing, we'll list out all the factors of 24. That will be 1 and 24. 2 times 12. 3 times 8. 4 times 6. Next, we do what? We attach signs to these. Is it positive or negative? How do we decide? Because our 24 is positive, it simply implies that the two factors must either be positive, positive, or negative, negative. Remember, that means two negative numbers will multiply to give us positive, and two positive numbers will give us positive. So since 24 is positive in this case, both of them must have the same signs. But what sign do I use? I don't know. I look at the next number, minus 14x. I simply make use of that minus, meaning that if I combine the two numbers, I'm going to get a negative number. So I'm going to use minus, minus. So I assign minus to the 1 and a minus sign to the 24. Or likewise, this, that way. And we have that. Now, which of these will combine to give us what? To give us minus 14. That's the whole essence. And Carefully, we can see minus 1 minus 24 cannot do the job, but minus 2 minus 12 will give us minus 14. So I'm going to replace minus 14x with minus 2x minus 12x. So the next step, we're going to have here that this is x squared. In place of minus 14, we bring in minus 2x minus 12x plus 24 equal to zero and that's it there so now we can start our factorizing i'll take x square and minus 2x what is common x is common i open the bracket x square divided by x is x minus 2x divided by x will give me minus 2 quietly bring down the minus sign there and then look at 12x and 24 what is common you will agree that 12 is common and i open the bracket minus 12x divided by minus 12 will give us positive x and then plus 24 divided by minus 12 will give us minus 2. Again you can see what I have in the bracket here the same thing I have here also which means I'm on the right path. So what do I do next? x minus 2 is common so I have x minus 2 out, and then I open another bracket, I transfer the x there into the bracket, and then I bring down my minus 12 equal to 0. Now we have two numbers multiplying to give us 0. If two numbers a and b multiply to give us 0, a times b is equal to 0. You can see up here, for that to be so, one of them must be 0. It's either A is 0 or B is 0, which implies that I can say my X minus 2 is 0 or X minus 12 is 0, which implies that our X is equal to 2 or from this other side, our X is equal to 12. That's all for this equation. X squared minus 14X plus 24 equals to 0. The solution is what? X is equal to 2 or X is equal to 12. I'll take one more example, still making use of the number 24. But here I have x squared plus 2x minus 24. Again, let's increase our speed this time around. Factors of 24 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, 4 times 6. Which of these four pairs will replace our plus 2x? 
Now, take note again our 24 is negative. This time around is negative, meaning that one of them will be positive and one will be negative. Which will be positive and which will be negative? I don't know. I quickly look at my 2x. It is positive. It's simply telling me, let the greater number be positive. So if I look at 1 and 24, plus 2x is saying, attach the plus sign to the greater number. Oh, 24 is greater in this pair. So I give you the plus and then this takes the minus. Because we are saying that what the two of them cannot have the same signs. So here, 12 is greater than 2. I give you the plus and I give 2 the minus. 8 is greater. I give you the plus. I give this a minus. Likewise here. So we have that. Which of these pairs will give us plus 2x? Which of these pairs will give us plus 2x? Plus 2x. Of course, you can see if the first one cannot do it, second cannot, the third cannot. But minus 4 plus 6, you will agree, will give us plus 2. So I'm going to replace plus 2x with minus 4x plus 6x. So in place of plus 2x, we will now have x squared. Throw away your plus 2x and bring in minus 4x plus 6x minus 24 equal to 0. So minus 4x plus 6x has come in to replace plus 2x. As I've always said, this is the most important step using the factorization method. So now we can start factorizing, looking at x squared and minus 4x. x is common. So I take my x out, open the bracket. x squared divided by x will give me x. Minus 4x divided by x will give us minus 4. We'll close that, conveniently bring down your positive sign there. Between 6x and minus 24, you will agree that 6 is common. And I open the brackets there. 6x divided by 6 will give me x. Minus 24 divided by plus 6 will give us minus 4. Again, equals to 0. You can see what I have in the brackets here, x minus 4. The same thing I have here. So, which means x minus 4 is common, so I can bring out x minus 4. And then I open x, I bring in my plus 6 there, equal to 0. So, I have finished factorizing. So, now we have two numbers, a and b, multiplying to give us 0. It implies that one of them must be 0. If this is my a and that is my b, Multiply to give us zero. One of them must be zero. I don't know. So it's either x minus four is zero or x plus six is zero. And this implies here that x will be equal to four. And why this other one implies that x will be equal to minus six. So that's the solution. Or these are the solutions to what? To the equation x squared plus two x minus twenty-four x is equals to 4 and x is equals to minus 6.